we have anything else, John? Committee updates? We'll start with Michael. I have four updates. The Shellfish Committee has put a notice on Channel 7 on the website and uh, <laughs> several areas um, around town uh, regarding Lead Mine Road, which turns into Bassett Creek Drive. Bassett Creek Drive is private property and it is no longer uh, accessible route to Bassett Creek Shellfish Flat. That flat is still accessible by boat. Uh, the second committee is the Harbor Board, which is, it was brought to my attention last week that there is continuing deterioration of the upper whalers of the commercial pier. It is a dangerous situation for anyone to walk out on that corner. We put some caution tape to bring that to people's attention. Um, and it's the commercial pier telling us it's time for repairs. Um, Are you saying it's unsafe to work on that? No, just if you walk down on the lower whaler area, you know, where there's the, the grab bar between mm -hmm. the pilings, those pilings at that corner have sustained uh, numerous impacts by large vessels mm -hmm. and has sheared the whaler in half. The bottom half has fallen away. The top half is being supported by the large bolts which attach the whalers to the commercial pier. Mm -hmm. uh, it would support the weight of a person, mm -hmm. but don't press your luck. Right. Um, yeah, this was brought to my attention. Uh, one of the things I would like to do is we have a contractor who's going to be doing work on the lower whalings and pilings. Mm -hmm. Maybe have him take a look at it. Um, get his recommendation. Um, maybe we could expand the project a little bit. Um, we would probably have to put the bill on it, but right. he would definitely be a qualified candidate. To he was right there. It'd be a lot cheaper out of Sim Perry. Certainly have him look at it and mm -hmm. give us a price. Yeah. Marion Transfer Station has notified the town of. Individuals from Lubeck who have not replaced their um, municipal me. waste stickers. Um, this is, occurs naturally when people buy a new car and the old sticker shop so they don't replace it and they have to tell the um, people at Marion that they're a Lubeck resident. And uh, it's a simple matter of coming to the town and getting your new sticker. Marion's policy will be if you don't have a sticker, they're going to charge you for the municipal waste that you're getting rid of until you get a sticker. And the stickers are free. And the stickers are free. So please come to the town office and get your free sticker for Marion, as long as you're a Lubeck resident. And um, the last item I have is, uh, I'd like to announce that the Lubeck Historical Society's annual yard sale will be on July 4th from 8 a.m. to noon in the Society's parking lot. And of course, as usual, no early birds, please. Uh, if you have any questions regarding donations uh, for the yard sale, you can call Barbara Salito at 733-2994 or Deb Sourbeer, who is the secretary of the Historical Society, at 733-4223. If there are items in, that you'd like to donate, you don't have a car, um, please call. They can come and pick these up. And I have one final note on this, which is no TV, computers, or clothes. Those go to the town. Garage. Right, the TVs the and the computers go to the end of clothes. If we no. had a <laughs> Salvation Army box somewhere, we could probably fill two or three of those. Um, and I also wanted to mention that um, uh, memberships are still available for the Historical Society contrary to public opinion, and uh, any donations um, over $100 would include a free annual membership. And that's all I have. How much is the membership? $10. Okay. This year. This year. <laughs> and going up next year. <laughs> okay, any other committee updates? Any other updates from the board members? Betty. You did. Mm -hmm. One morning to write. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm surprised. <laughs> you got an update. <laughs> um, 
um, finish up on the shellfish. We have a shellfish meeting next week. At? May 15th at 4 p.m. Here at the town office. Yes. And we will be setting the dates, or they will be setting the dates for their required conservation hours. We have done one, but they'll be sending out right. more dates for continuation on that. Nomination papers will be available Monday. For anybody interested in taking out papers for a selectman, um, board director at the school, Blue Back Water District, Haverford. There's two positions available in the budget committee. We have a one year, two year, and a three year. So if you need any more, have any questions, please call. But the nomination papers will be available from May 13th to June 24th. Um, the next thing, the week of May 20th, I'm hoping to start on May 20th, we're going to start placing flags on the veterans' grave. So if there's anybody out there that's interested in and contributing some time to do so, please give me a call and we'll put you right to work. Mm -hmm. um, also, the appointments, that time of year, we'll be thinking about them. And you don't have to do anything with us tonight, just so you can start looking at it. For the committees and positions for next year, but it's time to be looking at it. So if, any, if we want to start advertising for people, for these different committees, so just to remind you of that, and also the weekly reports. Excellent job. He shut me up till I, I gave him a test and he beat us. I think he You want to be here every other Thursday? You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very good much. Good work, Cecil. Yep. It's usually a thankless job, so we're going to try to really thank people. Yeah. Yeah. And now, public comment. Anyone have any? Yes, any public comment. Right. If not, I'll entertain the motion to adjourn. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'll make the motion we go into executive session.